to all of you guys who go about scamming women in the name of love, scamming my ladies all in the name of love, <laughs> I'm coming for you. You have been busted. You have been busted. And to you all, my lovely ladies who have been entertaining their lies and deceits, it's time to take a break. It's time to do a security check on that guy. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Mary New Girl. I'm super excited to be here as always. If you're new here, you're welcome. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. If you are my subscriber, I really do appreciate you. Thanks for always being there. So let's move right into the gist of today. So, exposing to you games that some Listen carefully. Some Nigerian men play while dating online. Yes, I said that. I know you all must have heard about internet dating scam, right? Yeah, I just want to reveal to you things that you see and you immediately know. <laughs> this brother, <laughs> this brother is not real. So I made a list things you need to watch out for yes so I'll give them to you one after the other and tell you and explain them to you as I list them first on my list is when a guy is always online mm -hmm. when that guy is always online come on ladies no one stays online Life is too busy for someone to stay online all through the day. Life is just too busy for that. It's true that you may have time to, to you know, go on your, your, your laptop or go on your phone or internet or whatever it is you're doing, but no one stays online. But when you, whenever you try to reach this person, whenever you try to call this person, the person is always there. The person is always reachable. There is no not around or being busy or call you back later or not available right now. You have to be aware and ask yourself, how come you're always online? Whenever you log in to talk to him online, he's always there, he's available. And if you check his activities, when he's been online or when he came online or if he left online you will notice that he's been online all through and this is probably a person who says to you that he's working this is probably a person who works okay i want to assume this person is working and if this person is not working okay he's in school right so if if he's in school where does he have the time to be online all through the day if he is working, where does he find the time to be online throughout the day? I work. I know how many times I am able to peep into my phone. I actually keep time on my off day to make my videos. And then editing, I also know when to do those things. And these are odd times, not even a time when you're supposed to be like working because you can never manage. So when someone is always online, always available, there is no time he's not available, my dear, what's his business? Huh? Is his business online availability or what? I don't understand. Yeah, maybe he does in being available online 247. That's all I can think about. So first on my list is he's always online even when he's not supposed to be in the morning in the afternoon at night odd times he's always online this should tell you that just like he's talking to you just like he's dating you just like he's always there for you contacting you must be the same way he's contacting other ladies because of course, to him, what are you? Business. To him, you are a business. So, he's trying to make sure that all his businesses 
<laughs> are well taken care of. So my dear sister, my ladies out there, do not be deceived, please. Do not be deceived. Set yourself, set your soul, set your own life activities and ask yourself, you as a mature person, how many hours of the day can you actually give in being online? Then you know the answer to that. That's the one on the list. The next on the list is no social media profile. For example, Facebook, which is the easiest of all. You go on Facebook to search for him, just to check out if this guy is for real, if this guy is there. Of course, you see a guy, right? Oh, and then you're like, oh yes, he's there, he's real. Come on, my dear, don't be deceived. Look deep, look deep. When did he join Facebook? Are there real conversations with people, like real humans? Yeah? Are there real conversations, like with real humans? Updates from him. Updates, pictures, profile pictures. When did he join? I see people, you go on their Facebook profile and they tell you, joined last month or joined two weeks ago or joined three months ago in this generation in this generation that deals only with social media i don't even know anyone who's not on facebook i don't know who's not on facebook connecting to their friends to their families talking with them wishing them happy birthdays wishing them anniversaries you know brothers talking to brothers you post the thing and you know social media profile even if you go on anybody's facebook you should be able to see when he says happy birthday to someone you should be able to see him communicate in a kind of way with someone and you should be able to see that his profile has been there for a long time not just the profile he made just for scamming this is what people do not understand the fact that he has a name on facebook and you see one two three pictures how come you should see old pictures old pictures old pictures old conversation yes you should see those things so if you don't see those things, it's a lie. It's a, I can actually just use a fake name, start up a, a, a new Facebook account, get some few fake friends, put in their names there, put in one, two, three pictures there, make one, two conversation. Does that mean that I have a social media profile on Facebook? Does that mean I have a, a Facebook profile? Ask for his profile. You want to see him you want to investigate investigate someone properly don't investigate you know just on the surface level investigate someone no so if he has a social media profile you should be able to see his friends his family and those that he talks to then you know okay this guy is for real yeah that is a real man but this also doesn't rule out the fact that a real guy, like a real guy who has social media, whatever, can also dupe you. I hope you know that. I'm just listening to you. But probability is, if he has a good social media, like if he has his true social media profile, he wouldn't want to dupe someone, right? That's it. So it's just logical that he wouldn't want to put himself in such danger. He would want to cover everything about himself, where he's from, what he's done, where he's been, what he does from you. So that's it. Let's not talk too much about social media profile. The next on my list to watch out for when dating online, he loves to know your financial status. And he goes like this, do you work? What do you do? Yeah. Do you work? What do you do? Are you schooling? Yes. This is what they do. They love to know if you're someone they can actually steal from. So when they're asking you, do you work? What do you do? My dear, they want to know if you get money. They want to know if you have money. They want to know if you can, you know, 
one or two things provide for them if they need because what do they do they're scammers they're only looking for money nothing more so at this point if you do something of course they want you they love you because it's what they want but if you tell them i'm sorry i actually don't do anything i'm just wait and see if he calls you back the next day wait and see see if he calls back yes how to beat them see if he calls back that's just it that's the only way to beat them on this one do not tell them your financial status do not tell them that you work in fact when you start dating be smart you don't work you're a graduate yes you're looking for a job yes you've still not gotten a job even if you work and make your do a guy who's out there to like you or to love you will love you he should not be out there for your money so money should not be involved in anything in that relationship so if he cannot like you or date you because you're not working good riddance to bad rubbish that's on my list of what to watch out for is he stays in the relationship as far as it is beneficial if you're already giving him money for example you already started dating him and you guys are going on fine and he's already succeeded in lying to you and taking money from you and now you're constantly trying to help him and giving him that money the moment that money stops flowing in my dear he moves he moves that's just it so in essence this is a way to know a guy who's just cheating you try to stop the money that you're giving to him try to stop giving him that thing you usually give to him for example he tells you of this or that and you say oh i'm sorry baby i don't have try that once twice tries and see what happens try that for at least three times refuse to help him in the way you've been helping him refuse to give him things that you've been giving him and see if he stays if he stays we'll see we'll see okay next on my list for you to know is coming you is when they come with a story <laughs> There's always a storyline, and this is the part where I got from my friend, actually. She told me this. They always come. They always, always come with a storyline. You never date a fraudster who doesn't have a storyline. And there are two storylines from fraudsters, Nigerian fraudsters, according to how I call them. Number one, he's the only son his family he has no siblings he's always the only child in the family the, oh yes that is very true they always come with a storyline that they are the only sons in the family not only sons only child of their parents that's one line they use and then two the second line they use is either that their mom is late or their dad is late Mm -hmm. mostly their moms because if you've been watching my videos you know how I talk about family for Nigerian men that they always always are family conscious of course when they start dating you they expect that other point that you would want to talk to their family they expect that at other point you would request to either talk to their mom or their siblings <laughs> and so they come with them being the only siblings the only child of the family and secondly that their mom is late how smart can that be well you know what guys <laughs> we already know <laughs> it's not new anymore and all you guys coming for me sending me crazy messages telling me you know negative things <laughs> I don't know what you guys want you want someone to see you do things that are bad and be quiet about it right I'm sorry not me 
not me at all that's all i have to say next on my list of how to know that he is a scammer is he always talks about coming over to wherever you are of course yeah he will always talk about coming to see you or you coming to see him but first he would be the one to come see you definitely it's not you who will come first he will come first and then you can come yeah this is so true for those people who want to use you only as a means to attain visa only as a means to travel out of Nigeria and when they come there it's a different story my dear wherever you are wherever you are be careful when he constantly keeps telling you it's okay baby i miss you so much i really want to come be with you i really want this i really want that we've heard about these things it's not the it's not the first time it is really so bad when you do these things do you ever think of the person you're hurting do you ever think of the person who is going through that emotional trauma just because of you you don't so i do not have any reason to not say what i am saying i'm going to keep saying it yes sometimes it just use you as a tool as a means to obtaining visa as a means to fly out of nigeria that's it and when they come there the story changes the story changes this is it when he talks about coming over you people have just been in a relationship you've not been you know like you he's not done every necessary thing before he comes over let him do the necessary things you go over you go over there go see him in nigeria and if he really loves you and wants to make you his wife let him do it over there in nigeria why don't you go over to him yes why does he want to come over to you you go over to him tell him boo i'ma come over to you in nigeria and hear the story hear the storyline change be careful because all this love talk that he gives to you may just be only about leaving the country or obtaining a visa through you so something else that could give a scammer away he calls at all times he calls you all the time he disturbs you eventually disturbs you he disturbs you he calls you in the morning in the afternoon in the night come on we know people love with their heart we know nigerian men love but that's not how it's done no one has that time to keep calling you all the time or when you call them they are always readily available be careful it's a giveaway be careful something else that you should know that scammers do is they will never see anything wrong with what you do they will never find fault in anything that you do you know what i'm saying so you know that moment where you and your man being in a relationship like i once had a distant relationship with my man yes like we were not in the same place for a while so we would usually promise each other to talk at a at a certain time so sometimes either he's the one waiting for me to talk with him and i wasn't available or i'm the one waiting to talk to him but he's not available it's so so annoying if you know how that thing is you know <laughs> if you're my lady you know how you're waiting for your man to call and you keep waiting for the call because you call like in a distant place and he doesn't call as he promised to it is so annoying whenever he calls you angry i'm telling you very angry so you know that kind of thing when it happens to you and he was the one waiting for you for so long and then you come with the line of baby i'm so sorry you know my day has been so hectic like you try to explain blah 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 like we would usually do definitely when you explain the other person is not just going to accept your apology because the anger is already there like you promised to call why didn't you call but the truth is you as a human being you're angry at that point in time and you don't even need any explanations but if he's real in such situation he'll be very angry with you he'll be very angry but a scammer 
in such situation, what does he care? What does he have to lose? Oh yes, you didn't call us at Wenju. Mm -hmm. But right now you're calling, yes? Business still goes on, okay? See what I'm trying to say, see my point? No emotional attachment. Because if there was any emotional attachment, he'll be angry. That you were supposed to call, you were supposed to be there, you said you were going to be there, but you were not there. This is something that he would just think about, nothing more for that. But being who he is, being just as karma that he is, he doesn't care. Baby, I'm so sorry. I, I knew we were supposed to talk. Oh, baby, it's okay, baby. It's okay. You don't bother about it. After all, we're talking now, right? He makes everything easy for you. He even makes the excuse for you. He doesn't want you people to quarrel. He doesn't want you people to fight. What is there to fight for? What is there to fight for? He doesn't want that. He knows what he wants. And he's going for that. What would it profit him if you guys have a little misunderstanding to only mess things up for him? So instead of you being apologetic or him being angry, he doesn't ever want it. So when he never sees any fault in anything that you do, be wary. Be careful. That's another thing that you should know. And then finally on my list of things that you should know when dating online in order to avoid scammers is he always gives you a story about his family where he plays victim. He always gives you a story about his family either from how they were rich and became poor. You know, if from you know from grass sorry from grace to grass kind of story so that you have pity on him you know he wants the pity party thing on him so that when you emotionally feel sorry for him you emotionally feel pity for him now you will not want to ask for anything but of course he's trying to tell you that he doesn't have you should have pity on him. He doesn't have. He's asking you because right now he's in this kind of situation. He's asking for money now because right now he's in that kind of situation. But that's not true. That's really not true. That is a picture that he has painted already for you. So how do you know? How do you beat him to this game? You know how you beat him to this game? Tell him that, baby, it's okay. Relationship is not all about money. You do not need to worry about yourself about what you give to me. I am fine. I'll manage myself. Let's just be in love. You manage yourself. That's it. You manage yourself. I'll manage myself. Or let's just be in love. That's how to avoid them. That's how to avoid them. That's it. Okay. So in all this, what is my advice? My final advice for you. <laughs> money, 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 money. This is my advice. Keep your money away from your relationship. Keep your money, keep your financial status away from your relationship. When a man dates you, loves you, falls genuinely in love with you without getting a dime from you. He's real. But when a man says he loves you and he's been getting financial aids from you, how do you tell if he really loves you or just loves your money? How do you tell? You can never tell. The only way that you can tell is by keeping your money away from your relationship. This person was living already before you people started dating. He had a life. You had a life. You have your life. You both had lives. And you've been living. If there are ups and downs in 
anyone's life. Yes, let a person take care of it, I know. I'm not saying do not help, but at this point in time, because of the way that scam is, I would actually say don't even get your money involved. And even if you really, really are convinced that you need to help someone, just do it once in a while. Do not be that person's money bag. Do not be that person's salary. Do not be that person's bank alert. If you need to help someone, you help them once. When you help them once, and you see how it is, if it comes again and again and again to you with money issues, my dear, that's calm. Forget them. That's calm. Nothing when I feel tell you again. It is pure. It is plain. It is real scam. If your relationship is all about money, financial help, financial aid, visa, I need to come over. It is scam. Scam, my dear. Do not get scammed. So, guys, I know this subject is a very sensitive one. I know I will get, you know, nailed for saying what I... But, of course, what must be said must be said. Yes. And you all, my ladies, it is time to sit back, relax. Do a security check on him and make sure he's exactly who he is. So that you not be sorry, okay? And that's it from me to you guys. My malicious your girl. Always keeping it real. Please guys, do not forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. So that I can keep giving you more gist.